Top of the morning, guys. Grand rising. I hope you get you gave thanks to the most high this morning. Whoever you believe the most high is, even if you think it's scientists. <laughs> but um I listen to I like listening to podcasts while I'm driving. That's a tip for anybody um who like to listen to things while they're driving, they don't know what to listen to, you know, give give podcasts a try. I like to listen to audio books and podcasts. Yeah, that's a whole goddamn fly in here. Hold on. See if I can get this fly out of here. He just. I think I got him. I think I got him. <laughs> but um, right now I'm um, this is called toning my face, you know um, and I'm gonna get into that. But right now I'm just I just took a shower. When I get when I get the shower, I use this uh, all this my wife gave me. I use this uh, what is it called witch hazel. I just wipe wipe my face to get any excess dirt off. Um, it works out very well if you look a little dirt, a little brown. Because when you wash your face in the shower, it don't, you know. So it helps keep my face nice and clear from, um, you know, shit inside of it. But um, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about um, improving yourself. I don't know, for a couple of days I've been thinking, I'm like, um, what I want to do next um, in my journey in trucking and stuff like that. And um, I'm always looking to improve always looking for some form of improvement in my life um some way somehow because i believe as humans we're supposed to evolve but I, you know with thinking about that i i i look i turn the clock back and i look at when i was growing up and um instead of improving i always looked at all the things that were wrong so my perception was all these things are just wrong they're fucked up you know, um, that's the way I just viewed things. Everything was just messed up. And um, I didn't view it as, well, how can I make this better so it can impact my life differently? But I had to grow into that mindset, you know. Um, you know, I'm, right now I'm, I'm 28 or 29, one of them. I'm born in 92, so I'm going on 29 probably then. And when I was in, um, well, when I got out of high school, I started promoting in clubs. I was a club promoter. And, you know, um, I thought I was gonna do it big, you know, um, in, a, in a promotion game. But uh, it wasn't going that direction. But um, I realized, you know, it wasn't working for me. And I didn't grow up with my parents. So I, it's not like I lived in a par my parents' household. I was living with like relatives. And I had to, I had to, I had to kind of move and when you move and you're more on your own, you gotta you gotta pay bills. <laughs> so um, I had had to you know gain my responsibilities and take it serious. But um, I realized I was trying to club and work at the same time, but I wasn't making money from the clubbing. And um, at times I was doing more clubbing than working at the club. Um, you can say at some certain, certain time, but I was trying to be in the club because I wanted to grow my following and things like that. But um, it's just arguable that I wasn't going about it the right way. I was drinking and I, I, you know, I just wasn't able to pay my bills. So I had to make a decision and that was to focus on improving myself so that my bills are paid. I have somewhere to live. I have food to eat, you know, because it was a point where I, I was scraping for pennies everywhere in my house just to find something so I can go get something to eat, you know. And I was like, man, I'd never want to be broke like this ever again. Like ever again. I never want to be broke like this. Like just scraping for pennies or scraping for quarters, just looking for whatever you can. And um, I just took on a mindset that, you know, I always wanted to better myself. And I, I stopped looking around at everything that was wrong in my life. Cause I could look at my parents weren't in my life or I could look at that I didn't have no foundation to really stand up on. Or I could have looked at, um, I graduated high school to 2.0 <laughs> on the head, <laughs> right on the head, directly. You know, um, I wasn't. Try, I was trying to go to college, but college, I didn't see no future in it um, for me because, you know, you try to get these degrees and they're not really. Once you get out and you have the, all the student loan debt, the jobs don't really reflect um, the cost it took for you to get that degree. Like it would take. Like you, you go into those, and you go into those jobs, and um, 
you know you got to start paying for that that tuition and you can you can you, it's hard for you to purchase a house it's hard for you to um like grow and expand whatever you whatever you want to do financially it's just difficult and it, you know i think that system is broken because they allow schools to um charge too much for tuition you know i got out early i went i went to a couple like i think i got my i got my associate's degree i did get my associate's degree but apart from that um i was like nah but um the reason i'm making this video is just to explain if you want something better to happen in your life you have to put the effort forward and you have to change the way you see it you can't look at things as this is all wrong or people treat me this way or um anything that is against you how i how, how i assess things is i want this to improve so i'm going to do what it takes to improve it and make it better for me and you know ever since i started doing that like things in my life started improving i started imp it started improving immensely so um I just want to leave that note with you guys that, you know, perception is the key to the way you see the world and the way you make your decisions. If you make your decisions based on a negative outlook, then um, there's a chance that you'll have a negative outcome, you know, and, you know, that's not a positive catalyst of where you want to go in life. So I changed my mindset and I changed my life. And that's pretty much what I want to leave you guys with today. So it's your boy Truck and Snap. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Truck and Snap, and um, you know subscribe. And also, you know those things are important, but take the message. That's the most important thing to me. Just take that message in and try to uh, try to um, <clears throat> implement it into your life because I promise you that it will make a big difference to how you approach any challenges. Because we all face challenges in life. We will always face challenges. But the thing is, is how how do we approach the challenge? Do we pr approach it? In a fucked up situation, I mean a fucked up way, or do I approach it as, okay, how can I make this better? Because um, you can always have challenges. Um, I know I, I was gonna end the video, but as an example, um, somebody could say something to you, right? And you could respond, you could, and they could say something very negative. Maybe say something about you. Maybe say something about your family or curse you out. And you know, depending on who that person is, could be your boss or could be you know it's just somebody in a higher position it could be anything but um you need the job and you might say fuck that and cuss their ass out and lose your job and now you're in a position where um you have no job <laughs> this person cussed you out and fired you or said some disrespectful to you and fired you and got rid of you and you you're in a losing position but if you focus on okay i understand this person said just you might be in a the moment they said they said something bad to you but you might step you might take a step back and you know what i'm not going to respond with the energy that they gave me instead i'm going to say you know what i understand and um you can step away and go give yourself a break to take a breather and assess how you want to deal with that situation but don't automatically react with your emotions that's not that's not the way to um to improve that's not the way to improve take a step back because you might be able to come up with a plan to improve yourself that puts you in a position higher than that person and then fire them <laughs> well maybe not fire them because you're better than that but you get what i'm saying all right so don't forget to improve peace